This has been the longest winter in my entire life. When I moved to north of Sweden, I knew it would be harsh not having a shower and only having an outhouse. Here is where you do your private business. It's not always fun. Especially during winter. But being aware of it and actually living through it are two different things. However, it's not the extreme temperatures I find the hardest, but the extreme long time the winter stays. Good morning everyone! I was actually a bit uh, surprised or disappointed even when I woke up this morning and looked out through the window to see this. It's snowing again just when I was starting to feel like spring was right around the corner. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised though, because we're not even in April yet, and I live in the north of Sweden now. I knew this was gonna happen, but yet somehow I was surprised. I guess I was just so deep into that spring feeling that this caught me off guard. But now I'm out in the forest and that feeling of disappointment actually just rinse off. It, it goes away because there's something just so beautiful with fresh fallen snow on the trees. I actually think the beginning of spring can be one of the ugliest part of the year. So it does feel good in a way that I get to see this once more. It is so, so beautiful. The most important part is that we have the light back. That is what gives me life and energy and gives me a creative flow. So as long as we still have light. What? As long as we still have the light, which we will have, we will just keep getting more and more light. I think I can stand this. I can survive a little bit more snow. And now I just keep rambling on. It's so typical for me. <laughs> yeah, let's keep this movie going instead of me just dropping off. <laughs> snow and birds at the same time. Hi everyone! We're actually in April now, post Easter, and it's snowing again. And I feel exhausted today. And that's not in a bad way. 
I just, I kind of feel like I've had so much fun that it's now catching up with me. My parents came up for Easter and was here for a whole week and we've been doing so much. We've been out ice skating, we've been out long distance skiing, we've been out downhill skiing, we've been out uh, swimming in the cold water and I've also been uh, mountain hiking again and that was so much fun. I actually think that deserves its own video, so I don't think that will be in this one. But yeah, I've been doing so many things and I think I've, uh, I haven't prioritized sleep enough, so now I'm just like, Ugh, I need to catch up with sleep. So I think this also will mean that I might not try to be my best creatively with this video. I might just put everything together uh, as an update for you, for you to see what I've been doing. Okay, what you saw was me running in the barn to hide because a car passed by and I think it's so embarrassing when that happens and I'm filming. <sighs> okay, but let's go back in time a little bit and uh, yeah, let's take a look at what I've been up to. My parents just arrived. So I'm going out to greet them. Här kommer två kaffesar. Välkomna till vintern. Känns du sig snö igen? Jaha, jag trodde det där var de jag skulle ha. Jaha, så där är det de du ska ha. Ja, det spelar ingen roll. Det är bara vilka, jag vet inte riktigt vilka skidor det är jag ska ha. ha. So this is the skis I will use apparently to the new ski shoes I have. I got them as a birthday present. Så trycker du ner bara. Så. Va? Ja det är rätt. Nu. Ja där. Oh. <sighs> Catching my breath a little bit. <sighs> I really like skiing. It's such a like physical activity, I get a lot of health benefits from it and it's fun above everything else, it's fun so it's perfect but it looks like my dad has stumbled upon some troubles with his skis My hand there Someone is disappointed on the weather Where is the sun? The forecast said something and reality says something else. We're out again with the skis because I've heard an uh, owl. Owl? Is that how you pronounce it? Owl. Owl. I don't know. I've heard one here at least uh, several nights in a row. And um, yeah, we're here to investigate hopefully hopefully i will one day be able to take a picture of it or at least i know maybe not this specific one but yeah that would be so much fun but i have uh, i have no real hopes of actually seeing or hearing it tonight i don't know but 
it's fun used to be out. I don't think it's here that the owl has made its sounds from. This forest is too young. This is what I what I believe. I have no ideas. I don't know anything about about these kind of birds. But something tells me they like older forests the most. Don't most animals. A new day and another skiing adventure. Now we're ah, today we're out uh, skiing down to some kind of stream, a water stream. That will be, well, it is a lot of fun. I just realized though, I probably would have liked to take a stream, but I forgot a towel. I didn't even think about a towel. I only brought some camera equipment with me and some extra clothes for photography if I if I get a vision that I want to capture. And it's it's snow combined with rain today. I don't know if you can see it but Sometimes it's rain, and right now it's actually snow. What? Ah! <laughs> that was... Okay, maybe I should focus on skiing instead of talking to you, at least for now. See you soon again! It's so beautiful here. Look, but my, my camera equipment is getting really, really wet now, so I don't think I can record anymore. I need to let my camera equipment rest a little bit. You might not even be able to see me because the lens might be too wet. But I hope you can see this beauty. The next day, we ski to another river, so I could take that swim I was longing for. Det var som jag trodde. Jag tycker det här är kallare än ett isvak, för vattnet strömmar. Alltså, i isvaket så blir det ju så att din kroppsvärme går ut i vattnet där och strömmar inte bort. Men här strömmar din kroppsvärme bort direkt, men uppfriskande. Alltså som nu när jag sitter här. Jag älskar den här känslan. As usual, my dad is crazy. He's gonna walk over this river. It's a thin layer of ice and he thinks it's gonna hold. 
and he is an expert on ice so he might be right but I'm not gonna jeopardize walking over there with my camera equipment and falling in so I'm sitting here instead to see how it goes for him how go there? So he was right, he could walk over the ice. He really does know what he's talking about when it comes to, to ice. He is such an expert on it. I'm heavier than you are, remember that. It feels weird to say it, but when this snow finally is gone for real, these lands will have been covered by this white duvet for at least seven months straight. It feels like it's been winter for an eternity. And will there be more snow soon? Absolutely. However, we are in a time where it melts a little bit faster than new one is added. So after living through the longest winter in my entire life, I'm sure that the first warm day of May will be even more magical than usual. And that's the beauty of contrasts. Without the cold, I wouldn't appreciate the warmth of summer. Without the dark days of winter, I would never love the midnight sun. Even though these extreme conditions we live in up north are rough, it gives us more to love and cherish. As you probably can imagine, I'm almost exploding in anticipation for spring by now, to get to experience that extreme difference it will be to our long and cold winter. And I can't wait to share that transition with you. And with that said, thank you so much for watching.